hey welcome back guys so so far we can disable enable and delete the only thing we need to do is be able to edit right now to edit it editing is kind of like adding a new item so if i click on add new item you see this this is exactly what we want the only difference is we want the text to already be here and then we want this to say edit category instead of add new okay so we're going to make a different version of this and let me close that so let's make a different version of this so that to keep things simple instead of having to change the text there in real time we can just say add new category end that's where it ends and this is where it starts so i will just duplicate this let me move these over a little bit like so all right so we are going to copy this duplicate it uh -huh. so i will do that Control shift d and then this is uh add new we'll change this to edit capital e there edit category category name and then instead of close we're going to have console okay and that's about it the only thing is we have to change the ids now so instead of uh, add new this is going to be edit hmm. so it's just going to be edit like that maybe let's be more specific edit category like that okay what other things do we need okay so here on the button here there's the show add new but we're going to say show edit category okay and then we have collect data uh -huh. Now we should have been more specific on collect data which data are we collecting in this case so i will change this one a little bit i'll say collect edit data like that just so it's different from the other one and uh, that should do it let's give it a second here category name okay that's uh, that looks pretty good all right so um, let me come back to our we'll refresh to see that nothing is broken and i will right click and inspect the element for the add new so because i want to see what's actually activating now in here you can see there's an event here it's this shows you that there's a an event listener here so what is the event listener this is listening for the on click and it's it's going to the show add new okay and like you've seen we've created we're going to create a new one called show edit category so what i will do is let me copy this let's go to the add new button and see exactly uh, let me come back up here to that button product category this is the button right here so the only thing it's giving is an event so we can easily do this on the edit button now remember that the edit button is uh in the class here which makes the tables so don't forget that so let's come back here to the edit this is edit row okay so edit row I think that's uh, much easier edit row and then we have an id of the row to edit mm -hmm. but we'll need a bit more information than this so i think we're going to use the edit row function instead of uh, what i had 
Uh, oh, actually, this show edit category there. Hmm. This is more descriptive. So let me copy this instead. Let me come back here and let's paste it there. So show edit category because this will show or close it, right? This is the console button, is it? Oh, this is the edit button. Okay, so this will show or close it. So now the things that we need here are a bit more than what we needed last time. So we're going to need information. For example, if I click on edit here, if I click on add, for example, in our edit case, we need to be able to see the category existing category name here. So let me close that. So we will need that information in order to, to do this. So we can supply this information right here. on this uh, button that is calling it okay so at this point what we are looking for is the text so what is the text in this case so it's category name let's go back to our table and see that it's category okay so i'm going to supply the id of the thing we are editing and then i will supply the text as well so i will come here show edit category that and then I'll supply some text. Now, remember that we had this same issue with args here, and we're going to have exactly the same problem here once we add these two items. So what I will do is I'll simply duplicate this and then change these args to, I'll say edit args, like so. And then that's what I'll put here. I'll say edit args. All right. Then let's create those args here. So the ID is required, quite right. But here, instead of the disabled, we are going to need the uh, category. That's the name itself. Okay, so that should work out fine. So now we just need to create this uh, function. Show edit category. Now, this is going to be easy peasy because, let me come back here. Remember that the class we've given to this edit category is edit category, and it's got another class called hide to hide it. So all we need to do is capture this and remove this hide, then it will show. So since we already have a blueprint for the previous thing, it will be uh, quite easy to do this. So let's just copy the previous uh, function. Where is that function? So this one right here, show add new. So I'm simply going to duplicate this and create a clone of this one by changing its name. Show edit category, right? And I've forgotten the function, uh, the, the class name. Okay, there we go. It's edit category. So all I need to do now is, uh, let me change a few things here show add box i will change this to edit underscore box here i will change it to edit category because that's the item so let's get that query selector category input is equal to uh -huh. category okay so this is the input box now. So we have a problem here because we can only have one item with one ID and it's going to get the first one in line. So here our input box is this one and it's named category. So instead I will name it category underscore edit. Oh, no, actually the name should remain. Let me redo that. The name is fine because we're not even using the name anyway. So I'll drag this into the ID like so. So category edit like that. So category input is go to category underscore edit. That's the item we're looking for. And once we get that, we get the, uh, yeah. So we're just showing and hiding it at this point. So show or hide. 
okay so show edit category hide that hmm okay now the thing is we need to be able to identify which of the items we are dealing with here what items are we dealing with so once somebody clicks there i should be able to to assign those items of uh for example the id and the category text so in this case we are let me come back here we are sending two things in the argument the id and the category in, uh, the the category itself so i want us to get this one and assign it to the text box this category input so at this point what i will say is um, right here i think that's good enough dot i'll say um, value is equal to so i'll have two items here the id and the category so it's going to be go to category and that's it now the thing is on uh, on console on the console button where is this edit category so there is this console button here which will also go to show edit category but this one will carry an event so we don't want this event here we want to match what we are giving there which is the id so i'll just give a random id here of zero because i don't really want it to do anything i'm just canceling this and then i'll put an empty string there like that okay pretty good so let's give it a test run i'll refresh and here if i click edit and i'm going to see this which is not the one I'm looking for. This one should, is different. Let me click again. Okay. So wrong thing we are looking at. So let me inspect the element here and see what's happening. So it's got show edit category. Okay. So the function is correct. It means it's a function that is wrong, getting the wrong thing. So it's because of here the box itself we haven't changed that so i thought i had changed this i think when i un undid it it went too far so it should be like that edit category All right so refresh let's click again Okay, so I can see that uh, it's actually working. There's edit category here, category name, and then there's that hats. If I click on meet, and I will see meet there, click here, I will see sodas. So it's working. It's just the display is all funky.